What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT and need to get 12 and 0 done, make sure to head up my second sponsor, Rose NBA, on Twitter for a quick, fast, and reliable purchase. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. Alrighty, before we get into the video, make sure to smash that like button. Make sure to drop that sub because, bro, we're getting closer and closer to 10K. And we've been growing like crazy thanks to you guys. Um, before we get into the video, make sure to follow my Twitter for empty giveaways. We're probably going to do one today or tomorrow, so make sure to do that. Um, yeah, man, we got a lot to talk about. I mean, a lot, a lot to talk about. So, we're going to get in this video. It is how to snipe, okay? I'm making this video simple because, honestly, I've been getting thousands of DMs over the last couple weeks of people like, dude, how do I snipe? Do you have any tips? So, we're going to go over them in this video. Hopefully, this helps because I have a lot to talk about. Let's get into it. So, Tips for sniping, bro. So, obviously, if you're beginners, you're going to want to start off on Amethyst Filter. Um, this is going to be the best filter to snipe on, in my opinion, in general. But even for people with low MT, it's going to be the best snipe filter to, to uh, do anyways. So, what you want to do, since the most ex since the most like expensive Amethyst on this filter is around 1900 MT. Let's just say, you just want to put it to like 1900 MT. This filter is good on a Sunday because all the amethysts are up a lot. So right there, I'll get Dan Marley, okay? Dan Marley is a good investment, so I'm honestly going to keep him. He's going to probably go up to 2,500. I'm going to keep him in my collection, whatever. Um, Joel Embiid, no. You don't. You want to stay away from current series too, for sure. So this Ami filter, how to snipe and whatnot, this Ami filter is going to be your best one. Now, how to snipe. So you always want to put your buyout at whatever it is. So... Let's say the prices are at like 1950, right? You see a ton up for 1950, whatever. You don't want you don't want that. You want to see nothing. You want to go a little cheaper. So these cards aren't really worth it. So what you want to do, you go 1850 for the Ami filter. You want to put your max bid up over the ma the maximum buyout. So always have your ma your max bid over the maximum buyout and you refresh like this. Now, here's a tip. If you want to get quicker refreshing, you got to kind of remember it. You need to have like muscle memory when you go down because you'll be faster but here's another tip if you go into it quick and you go like this and you refresh quick it actually slows down your auction block so you want to go down wait a second then refresh because i've noticed if you go mega quick that searching bar pops up way quick like it pops up way more if you go mega quick if you go a little slower with one second extra the searching bar doesn't really uh pop up as quick so i'm going to give you an example for the opal filter, uh, whatever, uh, uh, let's use Western for now because nothing pops up in buyout. What you want to do, I always go as mega quick as possible on minimum buyout. Like for instance, see how quick my auction's going? There's no searching bar at all. Once you start to go mega quick is when that searching bar pops up. You do not want that searching bar to pop up. And also, one of my subs actually showed me a tip. So I forgot who it is. I don't know if this works, but honestly, it kind of did for me. I don't know if it was just a coincidence, but I don't know. I went into freestyle. He said, go into freestyle, shoot a couple shots, green a couple shots. And then you come out and you refresh and your sniping is, is faster. And honestly, I, I thought he was crazy, but no joke, he's not even lying. So I'm going to get into here. My release is going to be off because I'm on the studio. All right, there we go. We green a shot. There we go. Let's get out of here. Now we go back in and hopefully the auction's faster. Usually in the videos, it's not going to show that because every time I do do that, it never works out. Every time I try to show you guys something in a video, it never works out in general. So whatever. We're going to go back to sniping. We're going to show you if it's quicker. Hopefully it's quicker. A lot quicker. You see there's no searching bar. There is no searching bar. So whoever that sub is, you're you're the goat i i keep forgetting your name you're always always saying it talking about it but look there is no searching bar on my game now nothing 
um it usually comes back after a little bit like right there but it's still quick okay if you're getting no searching bar constantly you're gonna get every single snipe it's all about how quick the refresh is not really about how fast you're doing it it's more of how like tech it's kind of about technique honestly in my opinion if you're going mega quick that searching bar is gonna pop up all the time if you go quick but like low key give it a little extra millisecond it's gonna get be a lot quicker to snipe cards and honestly if you're a beginner sub snipe filters i'm gonna recommend is i'm gonna go over all the snipe filters right now so if you're a beginner and you're trying to make MT, you only got like 10k. First off, if you don't have 10k to snipe, you gotta get your MT up. Go play some Triple Threat Online. If you don't know what Triple Threat Online is, it's right here, bro. This is the best game mode to make MT. You could possibly make 100k an hour. If you get lucky, I've done it a couple times. Now, if you're a beginner, I recommend hitting up the Diamond Filter because it's really, really money. Um, so, oh, that's a, that's a good snipe. How did I miss that? Um... So you want to put your thing to like 4400 you want to avoid earl monroe's you literally just have to put your max up bid same thing man same exact technique different filters so scroll down refresh there's no searching bar for me that's also probably because i have wire connection another tip bro if you have trash connection don't even waste your time on the opal filter you're not going to get anything if you have really good connection you can waste your time on the opal filter and if you have wired connection that also is a, makes a big difference if you have solid wired connection you have a really you have a high chance of getting snipes if you have that bad connection you want to go on the oval filter bro do not waste your time i actually switched to wired connection and my connection got a, a lot better i mean i sniped like three opals in the last couple of days i got a kernelenko for 100k crawford for 100k and one more card and dirk for 100k so that was all in one day i posted them all up on twitter that was a huge w i sniped out three opals in one day and honestly it's been working out good so yeah diamond filter uh 4500 avoid the Erwin rose avoid the jalen browns this is going to be the best snipe filter method for you guys as beginners definitely this one and obviously ami filter um personally in my opinion the best filter in the game is still the ami filter at least when content drops as content's not really out right now so it's going to be slower all the snipe filters today is going to be slower so yeah as a beginner you might get really impatient but it's worth it it's really worth it but since the market is slow, I'd rather take my patience and bring it to the opal filter because there's a lot more like W's on there, I guess you would say. There's a lot more money involved into it. So it's like go big or go home for me. I've been balling with the opal filters as of late. I kind of ditched the Ami filter because opal filter is a lot better. When new content comes out and you are a beginner, bro, you got to hop on these filters ASAP because if you don't, you're, gonna, you're not going to do good. You just, there we go, Dan Marley. 1500 now i'm gonna wait for his price to go up to 3k another car you should invest in is dan marley in my opinion dan marley is gonna be the key investment you could probably pick him up for 1500 all day and sell him for 2500 i'm saying about a week later so yeah um if people were asking me for investments i'm gonna say dan marley is definitely the guy um jahil okafor was one not too long ago bro you remember um jahil eric pot oh that's a good one yes that's a big snipe right there so as you guys can see bro this ami filter is kicking that caruso is going for like four or five k um what's it called i'm trying to think what was i gonna say um dan oh jahil okafor and eric Paschal, bro solid investments whoever invested him and whoever invested in marvin bagley has dubbed out big time oh my god no i botched that oh i botched that too oh man that's such an l so i just missed another snipe on the filter this filter is insane how to snipe here it is bro the heavy filter is actually disgusting i don't know how i missed those that was really bad but you know what we can't it's hard it's hard sometimes you panic sometimes you don't make it out bro it happens but yeah honestly that's all we got for the video oh, oh that's not a good one hope you guys enjoyed the video honestly this should help out a lot of people how did i miss that this should help out a lot of people too snipe this is going to be the best tip method you're going to get straight up this is going to be the best methods in the game so Hope you guys did enjoy a little quick tip video for you guys. Have a good one. See you soon. Peace.